Still is placed on court and documents. The era stands for the original 13 colonies. The, e the eagle is holding an olive branch that represents peace. The 50 yellow stars going around it respects <coughs> the 50 states. The Statue of Liberty was a different plan. It represents freedom and democracy. It, sta <coughs> it stands on Liberty Island. Wildcats. Good morning, Mr. Williams. It is 
next Friday, November 2nd, 2018, at Woodlands Elementary School. Thank you, students from Mrs. James' class. Thanks for leading our assembly. And it is so important for us to know about those symbols and the monuments of our country. It helps us to know our history. Those are a very important part of who we are as Americans. So thank you. Very nice job. Tonight is Ponca City High School's last home, last football game of the season. I would like for our football players to come on out here, please. <laughs> last Friday night was their last home game of the season. This is the last game of the season. They're traveling to Sepulpa this evening. And you know what, gentlemen? We have really enjoyed having you guys here on game days this year. It's been fun having you greet our students at the door and talking to you in the assembly. And we want to wish, wish them good luck tonight. And let's say, go Wildcat! Go Wildcat! And can you say thank you to them for coming this year? Thank you! Uh, how about just a good thank you? Good luck in Sepulpa tonight. Thanks a bunch for coming for, for football game days. We've had fun. I hope you guys have had fun. Come back to see us at, at Woodlands anytime. All right? Good luck tonight. hard for me because a lot of names came to mind when I Miss Fisher told me I was to pick somebody. But the one person that has standed out to me this year is Riley Weaver. <clears throat> Riley has been working so hard this year doing the right thing and always doing what he's asked to do. Have it to Riley. And I'm so proud of you. Good job, Riley. The use of alcohol, the use of tobacco inhalants. Um, boys and girls, remember adults in your life, on TV, on commercials, you may see using these things. We talked about the vapor um, devices. These things are not safe for people that are your age. Okay, that's the one thing I want you to remember. Okay, they're not designed for people as little as you. We talked about our growing brains. How many of you want to keep your brain healthy as long as you can? Me too, me too. So taking part in some of those harmful things can stop your brain from growing, okay? So that's what I want you to remember is even though there may be people that you think, well, well they're using alcohol or they're using tobacco, it's not okay for your little bodies, okay guys? All right, have a great Friday.
I sure have a lot of stuff this morning. All right, we have a staff birthday to celebrate today. And I need for Mrs. Miner to come up here. She has a birthday tomorrow. And so we are celebrating today. And so at Woodlands, when it's a lady's birthday, they get the choice of a boa and a tiara to wear for the day. Sing a birthday song. Happy birthday. And Mrs. Meyer, have a very, very, very happy birthday. And thank you, Mrs. Fisher. Okay, raise your hand if last night you and your family read, read chapter 12 of Mims Island. There are more hands today than there were yesterday. Okay, hands down. Hands down. I need these teachers to choose one student from your class, one student from your class. Remember, we're down to one student in class because we're trying to make sure we get through all the classes one more time before we're finished reading the book. And so I need Mrs. Lemusen, Mrs. Lively, and Mr. Coleman to each choose one student that did read the book to come on down here. Okay, tell us your name, young man. Kane. Kane, here is your question. Let's see. What, the, the, the first plane that Alex goes on, what does the pilot ask her if she wants to do? Um, I don't know. I don't know. You don't remember that part? That's, that's okay. Gabriel. Do you remember what is the first thing that the pilot that the, the pilot asked um, Alex if she wants to do? Very good. She asked if, if she wants to fly the plane. Gabriel, dig in the treasure box. Okay, Kane, I'm going to ask you another question. All right, this is your last chance. And your question is, what did Alex Rover learn to do in this chapter? I'm going to give you multiple choice. Okay. Did she learn to, did she learn how to catch a fish? Did she learn how to sail a boat? Or did she learn how to braid long hair? Very good, learn how to sail a boat. Good job, Kane, go dig in the treasure box. And tell us your name. Hey, Ted. And your question is this. Let's see which one I'm gonna use. Okay, what? What did Nim call to tell Alex? Remember, Alex was in the hotel. Nim called her on the phone. And what did Nim tell her when she called her? Raise your hand if you remember. Who remembers what did Nim call to tell? What did Nim call to tell Alex? Joel, I'm coming at you. So what, what did Nim call to tell Alex? Not to come to the Tropic Very good, very good. Come on down and dig in the treasure box, Joel. Not to go with the Tropic Tourist, but those were the bad guys. Okay, Ted, you've got one more chance. And your question is, when Alex Rover is with the Tropic Tourist, what does she tell them a story about? No, oh, but Nim did tell, tell Alex a story about her mom, all right? So that, so that was one of the stories that's told. But we're, we're wanting to know when Alex was on the boat with the tropical tourist, remember she was talking to the captain. I'm gonna give you multiple choice this time. Did she tell a story about a volcano in Nim's Island, or did she tell them a story about a boat that is lost at sea? About the volcano, very good, and how that island was formed. Very good, Ted. All right, keep on reading. I'm anxious to see what happens in tonight's chapter. Over the weekend, 
I want you, to, want you and your family to read chapter 13, either tonight or Saturday or Sunday, before you come back to school on Monday, chapter 13. All right, we do have a guest teacher in the building today. Mr. Rowe is with us in Mrs. Courtney's class, so make sure you greet him politely when you see him today. We, today is class picture day, and teachers, uh, the office will be calling you down when it's your turn. Those pictures are in the library. They will also be calling students. They'll also be calling students for picture retakes, and picture retakes are in room 10. All right, we have several awards to give today, and the first class award that we have is the Sparkling Dust Pan. And if you are the Wildcat of the Week for your class, you will be you will be the student that comes to receive the award for your class. The Sparkling Dust Pan goes to the class that does the very best job keeping their class shiny, sparkling, clean, to help our custodians' jobs be easier, to help your learning environment be better. And today. The sparkling dust pan goes to a room that every person in the school goes to at some point. And it goes to Mrs. Graham in our library. I knew it! Which, which reflects on all of us because we're all in and out of there. And Mrs. Graham is actually gone today, and so we will get that to her. But let's give, let's give Mrs. Graham in the library our sparkling dust pan celebration. Alright, the Golden Tray Award goes to the class that does the very best job following all of our cafeteria procedures, and it seems like there's a million cafeteria procedures, doesn't it? And the, and the, the Golden Tray this week goes to a, an intermediate class, and it goes to a third grade class, and it goes to Mrs. Anderson. <laughs> And this did Mrs. Anderson's class our golden tray celebration. Ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. And it is time to count up spirit shirts, blue shirts, red shirts, black shirts, and to the shirt, blue shirts, blue shirts, blue shirts. Classes. If you have 18 or more, stay standing. 20 or more. 22 or more. 24 or more. Is Mr. Coleman's class the only class that's standing? How many do you all have? 28. That's all the poem, right? The students of Single Wild Cat of the Week on down. And, and while they're coming down, Voices are off on five, four, three, two, one, zero. I forgot that we have student council here to talk to us about something, and so before we go, Miss Brooklyn is going to come and talk to us about a student council project. So we're going to help out the Ponca City Humane Society. Very good. All right. Hey, this is going to be a great day of fun and learning.